Hello, my name is Nigel Palmer. I'm the author of the book, The Regenerative Grower's Guide to Garden Amendments. In this short video, I'm going to discuss the fermenting of fish in a compost pile. The key to putting whole fish in a compost pile is to do so so that they don't smell terribly and you can eliminate animal pressure. In this video, we'll show you how to do that. Giving thanks for the resources that are bestowed upon us is an extremely important aspect of working to nurture nature and working with nature. The ingredients in a compost pile are always the same. We need carbon or brown, we need nitrogen or green, we need biology so that digestion can occur, we need housing, water and air for that biology once you have a living entity you need to provide the resources for that entity to thrive. And finally we need minerals. The biology requires the same diverse components of minerals that the soil does in order to function properly. Our source of carbon is wood chips and hay. Our source of nitrogen is the fish themselves. Our source of biology is IMO4 and the fish themselves. Our source of water and air are the water we provide as we build the pile, as well as natural rainwater that will occur later on, and the airspace provided by the wood chips and the hay as we build the pile. Minerals are extremely important. The IMO4 has a complement of minerals in it because I put them there when I made the IMO4 pile. And I'm also adding some rock dust because we'll have a a vibrant and rich digestion process, rock dust may be added and be digested into the pile as well. So this is this year's compost pile that I'm making. Been working on it since November of last year. It's August 8th today. And uh, I've got fish left over from making fermented fish. And so I was gonna put a layer on the compost pile. And this layer is gonna include wood chips, hay, fish and IMO4 and I'll make a layer of these things as I go forward but the first thing I want to do is I want to I'm going to level off this compost pile and I'm just going to pull out some of the stuff in the middle so they have like a, a flatter surface and uh, like a lip to work on so that gives me a relatively flat surface to start with. The first thing I'm going to do is throw some biology down there so that IMO4. This stuff smells so good. Next I'm going to throw some wood chips. Get some carbon in there. Okay. Actually, some more carbon. Next, I'm going to water it. Put some water down there. I don't want everything so dry. Next, some minerals. This is a mixture of basalt and gypsum. Basalt has that paramagnetic material in it, and manganese and silicon. The gypsum has calcium and sulfur in it, just a little bit. And then finally the fish. And the fish liquids. Thank you fish. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful fish. On top of that, we're gonna throw some more biology. IMO4. The IMO provides soil for housing as well as biology to facilitate the digestion process. A really powerful ingredient. Next we'll add a little bit more carbon in the form of wood chips. And a little bit more 
water. And then finally, some more hay. Some more rock stuff. Careful not to breathe it. And finally, some water again. You can see the fly pressure is eliminated. And animals won't bother the fish. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video, and I hope you found it useful. Visit us at nigel-palmer.com for more information about these very important topics.